In my previous tutorial, we have seen how we can use Heroku CLI to deploy our application to Heroku. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can automate this deployment process with GitHub Actions. Again, I'm going to use this project, this Spring Security Tutorials, and if you watched my Heroku deployment tutorial, you know this system properties is for the Heroku deployment. Now we are going to create an action, GitHub Actions, and this is going to be doing the, the deployment steps for us. This deployment is not so much complicated. All we will do is just to make sure this application is going to be deployed to the Heroku as soon as we commit new changes. So we will create a new action. We can use any of these actions. So let's let's uh, use this template, for instance, set up this workflow Java with Maven. So this is going to be creating a file like this. We can change it to something like this, like that, Heroku deployment. Now we are going to uh, fix this part. Let's remove this command. The action name is Heroku deployment. Now this action is triggered when anything pushed to these branches and currently there is this just main branch. So if something is pushed to the main branch, this action is going to run. Or if uh, there is a pull request for the main branch, again this action is going to run. We don't have to use all these uh, triggering points, we can just go with the one of this push and whenever this event is triggered this jobs we are going to define here is going to run so here we are uh, running this this actions on a ubuntu server and it is the latest version uh, we, we don't care about the version of the ubuntu and the steps are this actions check out this is going to be checking out this repository it's going to be basically cloning this repository to this server then we have another step right here this is for setting java version 1.8 on this server uh, we are not going to use these steps we are just going to change this one with let's search it here we can search different actions we will search for Heroku, Heroku Heroku deployment so this one is the one I'm going to use so th these are added by either github itself or uh, individuals so you can also add your own actions uh, so make sure to check the documentation of each action so if I click right here it is opening the the, the this page and here it is showing the example usage there are lots of the parameters here but i'm going to use only uh, the heroku api key heroku email and heroku app name so just copying this part and pasting here and just fixing the indentation here now we are going to deploy our application to Heroku with this action and let's set the parameters first is we need to have this API key you can have your API key in the Heroku dashboard so if you log in to your Heroku dashboard here in your user information in account sec settings you will see the API key right here so I'm going to copy this API key. I just copied it. Now I'm going to use it here, but uh, you don't want to expose this information in a visible file like this. So whenever someone opens this repository, they will be able to go into the, this directory and check this file. So they would be seeing your uh, secret keys right here. Instead of doing that, we can use this GitHub functionality here in the settings section, opening this in a new window. 
here we have the secrets. So we can define our secrets here. So these secrets are associated with this repository. And this is not visible for the, the public part. And also it's not going to be visible for yourself. So let's create a new secret. Let's call this one as Hiroku API key. And I'm going to paste the key here and adding the secret. Now the secret is added and here it is listed. If I click this one, update, here it is not showing anything to me. So it's not visible, but it is here. Now let's also add the secrets for others, my email, my app name. So adding my email, Hiroku email. And it is looking for an app name. Uh, we can create an application right here. Here in the dashboard, if you don't have any application, it is having this button, create new app. So let's do that. We can give a name to it or we can ask uh, the Heroku to generate a name for, for us. So let's say this is for GitHub Actions. So this is our application name. Here is the application is created and we are going to use this in our GitHub Actions. So again, adding it to secret. It's up to you what you want to put into the secrets. So I'm just going to add Heroku app. Now we have these secrets and we can use them here in the action. And the syntax of usage is like this. We add dollar sign and in double curly braces, we, uh, we type secrets and uh, the Heroku API key secret is this one, just copying it and pasting it. So this is the Heroku API key and this is the Heroku email. And the last one is Heroku app. So we are getting secrets from this secrets Heroku app. So that's it. Our action definition is ready and this is triggered on anything is pushed to the main branch and we will commit this to the repository. So as soon as we commit this file, this is going to be triggering this action and we will see that action outcome uh, in a bit. So let's commit this one. Let's say create deployment action. So commit it. And now if I go to the actions here, we have this create deployment action. The last commit is triggering this action. And currently it is queued. Now it is in progress. If I click this one, I can see it is at the step of deployment. So it is logged into Heroku. Now it is building the application and the, the deployment is successful. So if I go to Heroku and if I open the app, here it is opening this URL. The, the root URL is pointing to this one. And if I go to the public endpoint, here I am receiving this is public endpoint. So that's how we can uh, automate the deployment. Let's do one more thing. Let's uh, trigger this deployment from our local environment. Currently my local does not have the latest commit. So I'm going to pull the latest changes, which is the GitHub actions 
here github actions is added right here let's add a new endpoint here let's have a uh, get mapping what is the time and let's return the time back time return new date to let's open let's import the date to string saving it now opening this window in term terminal spring security git commit let's say new at new endpoint now the changes are committed and I'm pushing the changes to github so we will have this what is the time endpoint so the changes are on github now we are going to have another action here also we see a progress right here if i open the actions here add new endpoint is in progress and if i click here it is checking out it is deploying to heroku and here we see the deployment is successful and if i go to the page once again let's refresh this the application might not be initialized yet so let's make sure you wait a couple of seconds so this is re responding now and if i go to this endpoint what is the time and here i am receiving this response so that's how we can easily deploy our application to Heroku with the GitHub Actions. So thanks for watching and hope to see you in next tutorials.